this is amazing. We've never seen a big cat in a tree like this, and it's literally right on the road. It's so incredible. Uganda trip has officially begun. Our first stop after getting our vehicle was to stop at a little grocery market, a car, car for, uh, to pick up some essentials like donuts. Just had to get some snacks for the road. I think most of the places we're going outside of Entebbe where the airport is slash Kampala are pretty small. So not gonna find any main grocery stores like a car for. So we tried to stock up now with that and water. A few essentials we think we'll need for the next uh, 10, 12 days. I'm hopeful that most of our driving is just gonna be like two lane country roads because five minutes driving in the city is wild. There are pedestrians, motorbikes everywhere. I'm not really sure what the rules are. I'm already driving on the right, on the left side of the road, which is complicated. People are just parked wherever. It's wild. drive to where we're staying tonight which is Murchison Falls it's about six hours so we're actually breaking it up with another one of the highlight activities here in Uganda which is visiting the Ziwa Rhino Sanctuary it's actually the only place here in Uganda where there are rhinos and it is exactly halfway from the airport to Murchison Falls so good place to stop off we just finished our safety briefing and our ranger guide Nelson, I think is his name, told us that there are 33 rhinos here at the sanctuary. Started with four that were donated from Kenya and two that were donated from Orlando, Florida in the US. And from those six, they now have 33. So their plan is to bring them back and when they have around 45, they'll release them back into the national parks where they originally were. These are Southern white rhinos. So not here before, but they're gonna continue them now. We are at the Ziwa Rhino Sanctuary and you drive in and then you get to walk with a guide and go look for rhinos. Quick fun fact, cows are out here because they eat the grass to keep it low, which is how the rhinos prefer it. They prefer it to be low because their heads are so big. All right, we've been walking for about 30 seconds and we've already spotted two rhinos. They're moving quick. Obviously I got my safari hat on, so mean business here. on the walk, pretty intense. They're like 20 yards away. Can you see them right there? Yeah, you can definitely see them. Okay, new update. They're like 10 yards away. This is wild, literally wild, but also wild, wild. We're just moving from one rhino group to the other. I cannot believe how cool this is. This is just insane. Look how close they are. I think we've seen 12, maybe 14 rhinos to this point, all in little pods and groups. And it's kind of a cloudy, cool afternoon, so they're actually up and moving around rather than normally they like to sleep and rest in the heat. might just be at a loss for words of what just happened. <laughs> I just can't get over how many rhinos we saw and how close to them we were. I mean, we were so close. All that too, and I mean, just the fact that we flew in this morning and got here at three o'clock in the morning and have been going all day, and then I'm just like standing out there and like, there's these rhinos, you know, like 10 feet away. I feel like every time we turned a corner, we saw like a new pair, new set from a group. And also like they just let you get so close, they keep you kind of close to the trees and shrubs. They said they have really bad vision, so that allows you to get close without bothering them. Unreal. 
we've seen rhinos in the past, so we were unsure whether or not we wanted to do this, but I think it was, it's certainly worth the visit and I would definitely recommend it. Right now, we are crossing the Nile River. It is raging. Dang, it's moving fast. We are arriving a little later than planned. Uh, just hit some really, really bumpy roads, so it took longer than the GPS said. But we have arrived at Mama with Cindy Lodge, which is where we're staying tonight. This will wrap up tonight. We're gonna grab some dinner, get settled. We are exhausted since we've been up since like 1 a.m. Um, and we'll go from there. Well, we're up before 6 a.m. and if you know me personally, you know there's gotta be a good reason. That means we are headed on safari this morning, which you have to start bright and early, which I'm totally okay with. We're here at Lake Murchison Falls National Park. <laughs> We're getting breakfast this morning though. They're really sweet here. They'll make us coffee and tea and then they pack a breakfast for us to go so we can have it when we're ready. All right, let's go see what we can find out there. All right, if you're not familiar with the area or using this to learn, basically you can buy your entrance to the park here at the gate. The gate opens at 6.30. One of the reasons we got this vehicle is because it actually has a pop top, which we've never had on a self-drive in safari before, but, oh, I can't even get it by myself. Whew. That was actually really tough, but I got it. Check this out. We are 45 <laughs> seconds into the park. Check out this guy. Now that we've uh, been on a few safaris, this is actually our fourth safari trip, um, we know that even though the elephants are incredible, early in the morning is when all the predators, like the cats, are out prowling and hunting, so they do it before the sun comes out. We finally saw some other vehicles, so we are now on a side trail. We're gonna follow them. They all have rangers with them, so they probably know where they're going. The rangers usually radio when they see something so they can get all their tourists over there. So our plan is to just follow them. There are a lot of Ugandan cob, which are basically deer in Uganda. Followed the cars for a little bit and uh, they stopped at some hyenas and maybe are stopping at things that we're not looking for particularly. So now we're on their own, but look what we found. just told us that there are leopards and lions down this road so we are hoping that we can catch them before they move we're just looking for other vehicles that are there watching so we'll see how this goes all right definitely some lions maybe a leopard but they're hard to see they're really far out Rebecca's trying to get the better angle anything up there no you see anything no okay we found the lions We've only seen the male, he's sleeping just to the right of the tree. You can't really see him on the GoPro, but you can see him on the camera and in the binoculars. And you can see him with your eye too, you can see his little ears. But there's also a leopard over here, so we're gonna drive over and check out the leopard too. This is so exciting, leopards are my favorite. And you can see this one, you can see its eyes. So beautiful. And it's just taking a nap in the tree, just hanging out. Since we've seen a lot of different animals on safari in the past. We're content to stay here and watch the leopards, see if it does anything, bounce between here and the lions that are, I don't know, 100 yards away. To give you an idea of what it looks like when there's a big cat around, there are so many cars.
Just watching the leopard, and then there's a huge elephant walking behind us. Safari is amazing. We need to up our uh, camera lens game. common stop spot for lunch down here is a point on the map called the Delta where it looks like the river really opens up here so we're gonna take a quick break and then head on over uh, back to the river. <laughs> These warthogs want their pineapple. <laughs> Pumbaa over here does not care about people. Also, there's baby Pumbas. They're kind of scary though. Hogs and Texas are scary. Oh, Texas are scary. Oh, scary. Oh, scary. Oh. They came after me. I take back my my comment on not caring about people. <laughs> Getting back in the car. Generally, Rebecca and I just swap driving spots, so her turn to drive, and it's fun to have the pop top even when you're driving. You can just hang out here and enjoy the fresh air, look for animals and pretend like they're easy to spot, and I'm gonna have to spot something good. You know, safari stuff. Wrapped up our morning pretty much just cruising around, finding more animals. And now we're gonna do a Nile River cruise because we are at the Nile River that's, that starts in Uganda. Right? Yes. Don't leave her right in there. <laughs> A deer thing. I think that's it, but all that from this one spot. It's awesome. They call this Murchison Falls National Park, and we are coming up on the falls now. This is where the Nile River flows through. Our guide did say that Murchison Falls is the most powerful waterfall in the world, the entirety of the Nile flowing through about six meters. Seems like a lot of water. We just finished our boat tour and I would say definitely recommend it if you're coming to Murchison Falls National Park. We really enjoyed it. There were so many hippos. We saw hippos nonstop and then we also got to see a couple crocodiles um, and then you kind of go towards the bottom of the falls and see it in a distance. You can go to the top of the falls um, but we didn't have enough time and it sounded like you might have had to pay extra to go up there. so. We opted out on that, but we are going to head back to the North Gate now where sun is setting and we are going to head out and back to our lunch. Headed out of the park after our boat trip. Had to stop for one last elephant. Got some lions way off in the distance, but there's clearly two out there. Insert photo, that's probably blurry. There is a lion walking down the road right to us. We just stopped and it's just coming. That thing literally just walked all the way up to our car until about 15 feet out and turned in the grass and now it's somewhere in the super tall grass right next to our car. Oh, it's right there. No, it's far, you see it? I think it's trying to sneak attack maybe? Not really. No, it's not. It's like right there. I just got out to go to the bathroom. <laughs> that 
that lion has disappeared now. But it was, it was a few minutes ago. Okay, slightly down from the high of that lion encounter. That was awesome. It was literally, we saw it like 100 yards or maybe 50 yards down, walking straight at us. She turned the car off and waited and it walked all the way up. Rebecca had propped the rooftop so that we could close it quickly if we needed to, if it happened to walk right by us, which I wasn't too concerned about, but great sighting. I think we've kind of had some patience this morning and already paid off. Morning two is just back-to-back -back action. We've got some drafts battling out here. If you've never seen drafts fight before, they swing their necks into each other. It can get pretty loud thunks. Spotted some more vehicles that appear to have found something. So Rebecca's on a mission. <laughs> I'm going to speed limit. <laughs> can see them already. We've got some lions right off the road sitting up. Show you what it looks like when some Lions have been spotted. Definitely draws a crowd here. Back there. Yeah, I think you're fine. Okay, there is a mom lion and her cubs and there's people that are all standing on their cars and the mom lion came over and started charging and then she growled at them and the guide rolled his window up really fast and like put his car in drive to get out of the way. Those people, including the guide they were with, got out of there real quick. I don't think we captured anything because there's just a lot happening and uh, they've kind of settled into some thicker grass understandably because I think there was too many people around. So. Yeah, we're gonna hang tight for a minute, but that was wild. Well, I think the concurrent lion sightings are a fantastic way for us to wrap up our time here in Murchison Falls. Definitely glad we had to come back through and buy another day permit to cut through the park. And we got to see that because we definitely wouldn't have. And now we have a six and a half, seven hour drive to Kabale National Park, where we are going to do some chimpanzee trekking.